kids. Hello, C3 Tots. How are you? It's so good to see you. Welcome to today's C3 Online. Do you remember last week we started something new? Do you remember what we learned? We learned that God made the world, didn't we? Now I've made this picture to help us remember what God made. That God made everything and he was the boss of it can you see this crown here that's the boss God made it and it was under God's rule and he made two people didn't he do you remember what they were called the man was called Adam and the lady was called Eve wasn't she and they lived in the garden of Eden and it was their job to look after it now God gave them one rule. Can you remember it? Hmm. He said, do not eat from the tree of knowledge and good of not good and evil. He said, if you eat from this tree, it will make you want to decide what is good and what is wrong. And God said, that's my job. So do not eat from that tree in the garden. So this, this picture is to help us remember that, what we learnt last week, okay? Now we also did some things with Play-Doh, didn't we? Thank you so much for sending in the pictures of what you made. I loved looking at them. Do you remember that I made a dolphin called Bruce? Now, I think Bruce is brilliant. Do you remember Bruce? Do you know, just looking at Bruce makes me feel glad. I made him and he is just so beautiful. Dolphins as well are amazing. You know, they just jump up out of the water just because it's fun. Just because they're enjoying themselves. Oh, that was my doorbell. How strange. Hold on a minute. What is that? What is that? What is that? That's a bit strange. That's very strange. Dolphin, more like dolph out. I think I could do a much better job of making an animal, don't you? Whoever made this, I think I could do much better. If you want it to be fast, Get rid of those. They look a bit uh, heavy. There you go. Now he's going to be quicker. And what's this lumpy thing on his face? Call that a speedy shape. That's just going to get in the way. There you go. Much rounder. Much better for cutting through the water. Watch this. That's what I call a speed machine. One more thing. Don't you think this flappy bit would look loads cooler on the top? Look at that. Hiya! So when you're speeding past everybody, you can wave at them and make somebody's coming. It wasn't me, all right? It wasn't me. Everyone. There wasn't anyone there. How weird is that? What's happened? What's happened to Bruce? Oh my goodness, has someone come and broken Bruce? Did someone think that they could do a better job and someone's just come and ruined Bruce? That makes me feel really sad. Really, really sad. And you know, it makes me feel really cross as well. Why would somebody do that? I think someone needs a very, 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 very long time out for that. Now, in the Garden of Eden that God made, how do you think God would feel if someone ruined it? What do you think he'd do about it? In today's story, we're looking at Genesis 3, 
and we're going to read what did happen next in the garden. Here we go. Satan crept into God's beautiful garden, looking like a snake. Satan hated God. Satan wanted to be God. Satan tempted God's people to eat from the tree. He told them to doubt God's goodness. He tempted them to disobey God's word. He told them, you won't die. Now, Adam and Eve had a choice to make. They could obey God's good word or they could listen to Satan. What do you think you would have done? Do you know what Adam and Eve did? Adam and Eve decided to listen to the snake. They chose to ignore God's good rule and they did not let God be king over them. They ate some fruit from the tree. They listened to the voice of Satan instead of the word of God. What a very, very sad day. Can you imagine what God thought about this? God was very angry. God cursed the snake. God punished Eve and God punished Adam too. Do you know why God had to punish them? God punished them because they disobeyed God's word which was meant to rule over his place and his people. But God did send some good news on this very sad day. God gave Adam and Eve a hint that he would not always be angry at them. God promised that one day someone would come and crush Satan's power over people. But... That day was a very long way off. On this very sad day, Adam and Eve had to leave God's special, beautiful, perfect garden. Isn't that really sad? Adam and Eve had a decision to make. They could listen to God, their king, and his one good rule to love and look after them. Or they could listen to Satan, the snake. And they chose to say shove off to God when they should have said shove off to Satan. What a very sad day. Now, John is going to help us today to remember this story by singing a song for us about how God is in charge and his rule is good and we should listen to it. So we're going to go and listen to John now teach us a new song. See you in a minute. Hello everybody. I'm so glad that you're here. We're going to sing a song about what Hannah's just been teaching us. This is God's world and he rules it. And it's best for us when we listen to his rules. Can you remember a rule that we had last week to make my guitar magically appear? That's right. When I nod my head, you clap your hands and hopefully my guitar appears. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, clap. Oh, I can't play that. That doesn't make any sounds. <sighs> Let's try again. Nod, when I nod my head, you clap your hands. Are you ready? One, two, three, clap. Celery? Celery? I do like celery. 
that I can't play anything on celery. <sighs> Let's try it again. Ready? One, two, three, clap. Morky! Morky, my good friend. <sighs> but I can't play a tune on him. Let's try one last time, shall we? Are you ready? One, two, three, clap. You did it! Well done, everybody. I think maybe somebody wasn't following the rules the first few times. We've got it now, though, haven't we? We're going to sing this song, which is all about how God made the world, and it's going to start with the chorus. The words are going to appear down here. See if you can join in. God rules, okay, no other gods, no way. He's the Lord, he's the King, he's the boss of everything. He's the boss of everything. God rules, okay, no the gods, no way. He's the Lord, he's the king, he's the boss of everything. He's the boss of everything. Don't make the mistake of following a fake. Like Adam and Eve, who trusted the snake. Don't make the mistake, but do what it takes. Worship the maker, not the things that he makes. God rules, okay, no other gods, no way. He's the boss, he's the king, he's the lord of everything. He's the boss of everything. Don't make the mistake of following the faith. Like Adam and Eve, who trusted the snake. Don't make the mistake. Maker, not the things that he makes. God rules, okay, no other gods, no way. He's the Lord, he's the King, he's the boss of everything. He's the boss of everything. Last time, God rules, okay. Well done, everybody. And well done, Morky. What a good singer you are. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Bye, Morky. Wow, what a great song. And it's so good to have Morky back. Hi. God rules, okay. No other gods, no way. Thanks, John, for helping us learn that new song. Now, before we go, we're going to pray. Because really, sadly, we all doubt God's rule, don't we? And break his rules. And we need his help to listen and obey. So let's pray together now. Heavenly Father, we are sorry that we doubt and break your good rules for us. We're sorry that we sometimes listen to the snake, Satan, and disobey your laws. Father, we ask for your help that we would listen and obey because your laws are good and because you made us, you know exactly what is best for us and what we need. Please help us to listen to you. Amen. Now, I have attached to this email some uh, links for you to do some snake crafts for me. Now, just like here, can you see? So what I want you to do is have a printout and colour in your snakes and cut them out and I'd love to see them again. Send me pictures of them so that I can see what you've been up to whilst we're not able to meet together. It's been wonderful to see you this week at C3 Kids and Tots online and I can't wait already to see you on Sunday. Bye everybody.